of the, it does. Yeah, but the unofficial not. end of summer, right. I guess. But right. in Texas, it doesn't always translate. No. Right. But you and know it's what? Also hard. Yeah. yeah, I think that this time next week, we might actually see some cooler weather. Hey. Really? Uh, relatively cooler. I'm not saying get your jacket. I'm just yeah. saying. You'd be my hero. You're talking about right. 95 or something, right? <laughs> yeah. yeah. I might be talking 90 or, or maybe upper 80s, but uh, yeah, we'll get to that in just a moment. But yeah, it usually does signify some changes for us. No changes lately. We're just kind of stuck in our uh, same old hot pattern. And as we take a look right now, we are still dealing with that large area of high pressure. It is starting to move back to the west, so that's some good news. It will at least mean that temperatures aren't really rising. They're actually going to drop off ever so slightly through the next couple of days. Still some really active weather. As you can see, some showers and storms across the upper plains and through the Midwest. But for us, it is all about sunshine and some mega heat. So taking a look right now, 90 already for Dallas, 89 in Fort Worth. Feels like temperatures are already in the mid-90s. Feels like 95 for Dallas, 94 for you in Fort Worth. And as we look at our um, allergy report, we're not seeing a whole lot out there. That's some other good news. Fungus is the only one showing up today. It is on the low end. Rest of today, look for temperatures to quickly climb. We'll get into the upper 90s. The feels like temperature will again be pushing 105, especially the further off to the east that you go where there is a little bit more moisture. So we will be talking about some dangerous conditions to uh, take precaution if you have anything to do outdoors today. But we've already done this 11 times already where we're talking some dangerous heat. We've had 11 100 degree days. So after yesterday hitting 101, uh, but we're still staying below the yearly average so far of 18. Now some changes on the ways. They're subtle changes, but as we look ahead to Friday, Saturday, Sunday, a couple disturbances with some building moisture, we will at least see the slight chance for some isolated showers both Friday into Saturday. I think our best shot is going to be east and northeast of the Metroplex and then starting to see those rain chances taper off for Sunday. But the whole weekend, we're talking some very minor chances all in all. I would certainly keep the weekend plans that you have. And then as we look ahead past this weekend, mentioning that we're waiting on some truly cooler air to move in, we get into Wednesday of next week, still pretty warm, but I'm starting to notice that jet stream dipping, and I do think we could at least see some cooler air Thursday into Friday, maybe even some rain chances as we get into late next week. For now, guys, though, we'll keep our mid to upper 90s. All right, then at least.